Terror Expo 2016. Boys and ghouls, you ain't seen one like it in SA before. The brainchild of Alamo City Comic Con's Apple De La Fuente, this show was a frighteningly good idea. I, I think it's fun. I think we're a large horror community here. So I think it's something that, you know, when we discussed, we're like, you know, maybe let's do a horror convention and see how that goes. So that's what we're trying out. We're trying out Terror Expo and from the crowd, it looks great. And I think it's for the genre that might not be into Comic-Con, but they love this genre. And so I think this is something for them. The expo had all the telltale signs that a good show should. Most notably, a huge celebrity presence. From big screen slasher actors such as Robert England and Sid Haig, to a number of the cast of the hit drama, The Walking Dead, there was no shortage of stars. Sharknado was even represented. Timmy fanboyed out so much that he handed the camera off to do the interview with Ian Ziering. Not too shabby for a starstruck cameraman. Absolutely love the movies. Did you think that they were going to blow up like they did? I couldn't have possibly imagined the success that these movies have attained. I, I actually, when I first read the first script, would, was thinking more of the complete opposite. That's the truth. And all-star cast, I get the feeling that people were asking to be in these films. Oh, absolutely. You know, after the first Sharknado, we had a few cameos. The second Sharknado, you know, people were clamoring from all over uh, to be in the third. And, you know, there'll be a fourth Sharknado next summer. It's the biggest uh, movie franchise that has ever been on the Sci-Fi Network. Do you still have the Golden Chainsaw? You know, I so regret not taking that off the, the set that day because everyone asks me, do you have the golden chainsaw? And sadly, I don't. Um, that is at the production company's office. I think it's behind glass right now. Um, it's, be it's become quite a thing. This was a great little show. Cosplayers, merch, art, and artists, even authors. Hey there, GVTV viewers. I'm here with Ronnie Stitch, author. She's one of the guests here at Terror Expo. How's it going? It's been going really, really good. And uh, for those of you who are fans of The Geek Father, she's been a longtime friend of his. And we're very excited to get a chance to talk to you. Thank you. Tell everybody a bit about what you write and the, the different things you have with you here this weekend. Um, what I write about is usually um, kind of off the wall kinds of stuff. I have like conspiracy type stuff. I write horror as well, but the supernatural element mixed in, um, placed in San Antonio, and then also young adult type stuff. Um, this is the latest one that's just come out, and it's called Creepy Vampire Drive In. It's kind of a mix of science fiction and ghost story and vampires and everything all together. She was even a little starstruck herself. For sure, Elvira and uh, Mr. England, Robert England. Um, I keep peeking over there at them. I'm just fascinated, and I'm, I'm going to have to geek out later and take my son to get uh, Mr. England's autograph and maybe Elvira's and try not to fan out too much on them. We Geek Vengers look forward to the continued success and growth of the Terror Expo in the Alamo City.